this is Karen with Grace B Creations. How is everybody doing? Happy Thursday. Yes, Thursday. <laughs> it's been a week, guys. It has been a week. As I explained on my um, uh, on my um, Instagram, um, my Facebook page, and I sent you all a message here on YouTube. Um, I could not upload my part three video. We had some network issues, and then I had a printer issue where I had to replace this maintenance box in order to continue printing. I have a very expensive printer, so it's not like I could just run out to the store and get this maintenance box. I had to order it on Amazon, and it took a day to get here. I couldn't do the signatures without it. Oh my goodness, guys, it has been a week. So. I appreciate all of you for having such patience on me getting out this next video on part three of doing this junk journal. Um, I have given you guys some instructions to go ahead and start picking out your papers for your signatures. Um, we're doing three signatures and as you know this is where I left off. I'm done my topper. The only thing I have to do with my topper and that'll come in another video is to attach my um, these finally came in. This is from Crafty Me Shop. This is my favorite, favorite lace, and I finally got my hands on some. She finally put some back up for sale. She knew I was looking for it. Um, this is going to be my wraparound for my journal. So this will be sewn on the back of here. And this is what's going to be that ties my whole book together. Um, if you kind of look at it like this. I added some extra lace on my topper and if you notice I changed out the lace that was behind this. There was a different lace there before. If you go back and look at the last video you'll notice. Um, I was not happy with how it looked. This I love how like um, dainty this looks and so I'm like oh yeah I'm going with that instead. You guys know me very well. If I don't like something I'm pulling it off. So. Um, there we go, that's what it's gonna look like. And then I'm gonna have the wraparound, one on both sides. I'm gonna have like this one going here, and I'll have the same one going out the other end. It's gonna wrap around, and it's gonna tie around the front, and it's gonna have like a really nice vintage um, charm um, brooch here. Um, I have a couple thought out, but I'm not quite sure where I'm going with it yet. But that'll be for another video. Right now we are working on signatures and that's the most important part. So I'm going to put the topper aside and um, I'm actually going to put the journal aside. I'm going to show you guys what I have done so far. Now you know that we're doing three signatures, okay? I don't know if you guys are doing three signatures but you know that I'm doing three signatures. And um, my, my theme of my book is um, the Shabby Closet, and basically this book is going to be about everything you can find in a shabby chic closet, whether it's letters, um, you can even find some teacups in here, places that you store all the old vintage stuff, and, um, you know, dress forms, and um, roses, flowers, florals, everything. So I put together a sample of what the signature covers are going to look like for each of my signatures, okay? I always go with a symmetric look. Like, I'm going to have two more of these kind of styled covers for my signature, but they're going to be a different color and then the same top, but with a different charm. But then this is going to be different. I was thinking about doing like, I printed up a couple of different ones that I was thinking about doing. I have a teacup that I can fold in half and make that into the signature and put the lace over it. I've got this. I have the beautiful dress. I think I'm definitely using this as one of my signatures covers. I've got this to choose from. Like I said, this is why I needed my printer. I'm thinking about doing this as one of the signatures here. So I think I'm going to I'm thinking about doing this one. This is real wallpaper, so that's wallpaper. I think about doing this one, this one, and then the dress. But I won't be doing all three signatures to, in tonight's video. I'm only going to be doing one signature with you guys, and I'm going to do my last one off camera. I do this in every series. 
um, I do the first one to show you, the second one on camera, and the third one I always do on my own. So you guys after are going to go and do your signatures after this video, and then the fourth video we're going to bind. Okay? So let me show you what the signature looks like. And I'm going to give you guys a little tip of how working, doing signatures works. Okay, I showed this to my friend Laura today. Um, she's new to doing junk journal books. And so I made a short little video for her on my, on my cell phone and sent it to her. Um, just to show, because she was working on them and she had no idea which way to go. So I just gave her a little hint of how it works. Um, all right, so this is what you're going to do. Your outer, your outer part of your signature is going to be the same size as your book. Okay, so if you notice, this part here, this outer part is going to fit back to end, back to front. And then, of course, if I add any lace and stuff, it'll show on the outer side, which it's going to have lots of lace because it's a shabby book. I mean, come on, you guys know me, right? <laughs> So, so this is what my sample signature looks like. In a signature, you've got, now I'm going to back this with lace. This is not going to be like this. We've got the front, which is the wallpaper. We have a doily, a tea stain doily. We have some embossed paper. You can see that they're all different in sizes, right? I've got a floral piece of paper. I've got floral on the other side. I've got an envelope that's embossed. I think this is the one that's, okay, that's the other one, yeah. I've got vellum. I have linen. I have a little square doily. Those are the ones that came in the Ramona, Ramona package. We have another piece of linen, um, um, vellum. Look at the beautiful dress. Then we have one more embossed piece of paper. And then the last one is a vintage wallpaper. This is from 1910 or something like that. And I faced this one this way so that you can have a flip open. Okay, so if you wanna have any flip opens in your book, make sure to do them before you sew them in. Okay, and then on the other side of that's gonna be the other side of this. So you don't really wanna go any more than five or six pages because you're gonna fold them in half. See, they're all folded in half. So you don't wanna really go with any more than six. You don't count the cover. Okay, so I've got one, two, I probably have more than six. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, Nine. Okay, I broke the rule, but sometimes I don't count the really small pages because those are only little flip outs. I count whole pages. So if you count whole pages, I have about six. You just don't want this to be too bulky because when you go and work in your signatures and decorate them, it's going to end up being a gator. And you know what I mean by that. It's going to be a fat book filled with so much ephemera, you're not going to be able to shut it. So I suggest, I'm probably going to end up taking one of these pages out. I think there's a little bit too much. Um, I might actually take this one out. I think the rest of these are like really fitting. I might take the cardstock out. I'm not sure yet. But this is what a signature looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to make my third one with you guys so I can show you the process. Okay, and then after this video, you guys can go and make your signatures. And in the fourth video, we will be taking our signatures and I'm going to show you how to bind them into the book. Okay? So, let's go ahead and pick out the cover of my next journal cover. Um, I really, really want to do the dress. I, because I think I'm going to make this signature the clothes part of the closet. So, um, and this makes perfect sense because this is um, a, um, a uh, thing you get ready. Oh my gosh, I know the name of it. So, um, oops, let's move that out of the way. 
All right, so I'm trying to think of the name of this, and it, <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. Oh my gosh, I have not been getting any more than four hours of sleep a night. It has been a week. Okay. So these two fit perfect for this book. Let's see. Now I have to make sure that I stay at 9. Um, 12. No, wait a minute. Let me think for a minute. It's got to be 9. 6. I can't really cut it too much because we want to stay at the 12 mark. Which I pulled it in half to make 6. Alright. Um, a vanity. That's what this is called. All right. Now I'm gonna be able to only trim this a little tiny bit because it didn't. For some reason, my my printer doesn't do the 12 by 12 borderless. There's no setting for it. It does all other paper. I can do 11 by 17. I can do the largest I can print is up to 19 by 20. And for some reason, 12 by 12, you can't do borderless. I don't understand it. It does borderless for every other paper I can do in there. Hopefully this isn't going to be too short on the other side, but I'll make up for it in lace. So if you happen to be a little bit shorter than the 6 on the width, you can make up for it by just putting some lace on the end of your paper to reach the other part of your book. And I'll show you what I mean. We'll see how short this is. All right, I'm going to put this aside. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this in half. Now, this is the cardstock. I, I always say the rule of thumb is this. I like to have the signature cover a cardstock because I like there at least to be one paper that's thick to hold all the small papers inside. I don't like to use flimsy paper to hold everything together. I like there to be the cardstock. Okay? Now, let's look at this. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Oh my goodness. That ended up being, let me see on the, on the height. I might have to trim it just a tad on the height. Like I'm talking like not much at all. Like 12 by 12, if you're making a nine by six page uh, book, okay, 12 by 12 is perfect um, for printing a, um, a cover folded in half. Even for your pages inside the book, because nine by six, half and half, is 12 by 12, right? So you only have to cut off the other side. So, so I'm at nine. I want to be at nine. See how much I went over the nine? So that's perfect. So I only have to take off like a quarter of an inch. All right, so now we're at a perfect size. All right, so next, I'm following suit with the signature here. So now I'm going to take my vellum. I already printed everything up. When I say I printed everything up, as soon as I got that part in today, I got busy. Um, I have all kinds of great stuff to put in this book, guys. I am so excited. Um, let me see. I printed up my vellum. The piece of vellum paper that I'm going to use. I'm just going to go through it really quick. Look at this. I got this 1917 paper, right? They're Himmels. They're um, old, old, old books that I'm going to be using pages. And I have some decorative envelopes. I think you guys saw these on my Facebook page. I have these really beautiful um, bookmarks that I'm going to use. And I'm going to be putting lace on them and... These are gorgeous. These are going to be perfect for this book. Alright, I think this is the cover I'm going to go with with the lace. 
because it has like the roses on it. So I think this over this is gonna go perfect. So I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, this one's a little bit dark. I did one in a dress form, but I think that's gonna be a little too dark. I did all kinds of print ups, guys. Look at this. I have some of my wallpaper. I've got doilies in. Whenever doing your signatures, you want to make sure you just print up and get all kinds of different elements. You want your vellum, you want your embossed paper, you want your book paper, you want your tissue paper. You can even grab fabric, right? I have a piece of fabric here that I want to add into my signature. So you want to make sure you have everything and anything in a pile so that you can work with it. All right, so to follow suit with this, I'm gonna need my lace. Now, I did a double with the thing in the center. So let's just put that aside for a moment. Oh, I have to stitch. I gotta go stitch this envelope. Actually, no I don't. I don't have to stitch it right now. I can stitch it later off camera. Because I'm not using the envelope right now. I'm just decorating the top part. All right, let's, um, because this, this is an envelope, by the way. I don't know if I showed you that or not. This is an envelope that I decorated. And this is gonna be the outer part of the signature. See, I can use it on the other side of the back end of it as a pocket. So when I have this in my book and I get to the end of the signature, I have a nice pocket to put something in. Isn't that neat? When I thought when I thought of this earlier, I'm like, I have my idea for my signatures and I was so excited because I stress about that the most. When making a book, it's the cover and the signature covers. Those are the two things I stress. The rest of it is easy peasy for me. Um, okay, so this is definitely on the bottom. And I believe this is on the top. So I think it goes like this. And then this goes along the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead. Oop, for some reason. My music in the background is not playing. There we go. All right, let me grab my glue. I'm gonna drag my glue over here closer. Oh, let me show you guys something really quick. My son has a 3D printer and he made these for me, the dress forms. He made me another one too that's made out of a different material. It was black, it was a little bit thicker, and I dressed it up. Um, but I'm, I like these white ones more. But he made me these with this 3D printer, and I'm gonna dress them up and put them in my shabby room. They are so cute. All right, so that was me trying to bring my glue closer. Let me just move these so they don't fall and break. All right, let's get moving here. All right, so we're gonna add, I can't even tell you guys how happy I am to be doing this video. I felt so horrible for leaving you guys hanging. I feel so horrible. I'm like, everybody's ready, probably ready. I'm like, I hope everybody's kind of taking their time picking out their papers. I felt so bad but I'm gonna make up for it by doing the fourth video for the Friday Night with Friends tomorrow night. So I will be doing Friday with Friends tomorrow night and we're going to um, bind the signatures in. Oop, let me make sure I'm getting on the, on the crease. Oh my gosh, I need a drink and I didn't bring one over. I have one went over here. Nothing in it. Hold on, I have a water behind me, I think. Hold 
Okay. <sighs> right after this video, I have to upload it, jump in the shower. I have to get up tomorrow morning at like 5.30. So that's why I'm so happy to be doing this video tonight. It's like I can't wait to upload it so you guys can be like, oh, there she is. She didn't forget about us. I'm telling you, it has been one thing after another the past couple of weeks. I cannot seem to get on a routine. I don't know, has anybody else been feeling that way so far in this new year? Are you having a hard time getting into a routine? For some reason, I'm just really struggling. Um, all right, let me make sure I'm not, yep, yeah, okay. I wanna make sure that this is going over the edge. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue along the center. Like that. All right. And that's going to be, I'm going to have to put a little tiny bit of glue here. For some reason, that's lifting up. I don't know why that's lifting up. Um, I'm going to need my glue spreader. It's funny because every time I, I mention glue spreader, I think of Christina Deemers. Because <laughs> she got tired of seeing me spread the glue with my fingers. So... Ah! All right. Ah, hold on, I didn't, you guys know me so well, right? I do not like to have it cut around the, I didn't even look to see where that landed. I like to have it cut like right at the crease. I hate it when a design is cut off. Let me just go over just a little bit. All right, that sh should work. Can I just go around or shouldn't I? No. All right, I'm going to trim this. There. Like this, like that, like this, like that. All right. Next. Did I? Why is that thicker? Oh, because it's stitched. Oh well, I won't be stitching that part. All right, so now I'm gonna add on. Now this one I did pink. Should I do the pink again or should I do, well white's gonna be way too, well no, actually that looks pretty good. I've got that color, I've got, I've got the off white color, I've got the white white color, I've got my pink. I think the pink goes really good with these roses, so I think I'm gonna go with the pink. I'm gonna go with the pink. Go down the center. We're gonna lay down the lace trim right there.
Okay, this pretty, this paper is so pretty. Okay. And now I'm going to trim it. There we go. She's cute. All right, so next, let me just take a look at something really quick. Why does this seem so much thicker? Did I put some lace on the inside of this? I know it's stitched, so that gives a bulk. And it has this on it, of course. Okay, well, it's the same. I guess it's just looking a little different. Okay. Um, I'm just going to stitch that tonight or tomorrow morning when I get back home. Um, all right, next, we're going to get our white twine, our ivory twine. Um, I just had it. Where did I put it? It's what I was using to hold the book up. Can I keep it in the center? Yep, it's right here. All right, so I've got this nice twine that I'm going to use and I'm going to get a pendant. I made up a couple of pendants. All right, which one do I want to use? I've got the lace pendant. I've got, actually this one will go perfect to go with the rose. I'll do that one. Not even a thought. See how pretty that one is? That goes perfect with this paper. All right, so you know that twine falls apart at the edges. It comes apart. It shreds, right? The best way to put this through a hole on a pendant is to put glue along the edge here. You're going to put glue on the edge, and you're just going to go like this. You're going to go all the way down to about that much. Okay, you're going to get it good and stiff. And then you're going to run it through your pendant hole so that it doesn't shred it. See? If you don't do that, you're going to end up pulling a piece of the thread up and it ends up taking it all the way to the center and it's all falling apart. That's the best way that I've learned how to do it. All right, so then this is going to sit. So I'm just going to make a bow. Like so, a bow like so. Let me make sure this is right down the middle. There. I love the twine because it has like a nice little curly, curly edge to it. And it just makes it look so feminine. I absolutely am loving this ivory twine. All right, so now this is gonna be glued. I'm gonna trim this a little bit, it's a little bit too long. Now I'm gonna glue this pendant right on the top, underneath the center loop, on the center of the signature top. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this a little bit. What is that? I don't know what that is. Something got on there. I think it's a fuzz ball. Yeah, it's a piece of thread. Okay. Let me just go ahead and glue it first, and then I'll know where to cut it. And put it right in the center. Actually right there. It's going to take a few minutes to really glue down because it's kind of thick. 
Hold on a second. Let me put some on the back. Just like that. All right. And then, let me see. How did I, how much did I have it up? Probably about there. All right, so there is my cover for this signature here. Now, I have to line that. Um, I'm not going to line it yet. I'm going to go ahead and start creating the signature, and then I'll line it after. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness, this is signature two. Look how adorable. So this is signature one. And like I said, I'm gonna go in and stitch on this, this one. I'm gonna go in and use my fancy stitch to make my pocket on this one. I'll do that one later. But this is how it's gonna look. And that's my second signature for the book, okay? So now, now that I've got this made, I'm gonna take this off so this can continue to glue. I'm gonna hold that right over there and we're gonna create our signature now, okay? Now I am gonna line this. I was thinking of lining it with lace, but for now, let's just put the signature together first. So, I have my papers here. This is the process of figuring out what you wanna use in the signature. I did an embossed envelope that has gold on the inside. I was thinking about using that. Um, let's see. I have some tissue. Now this one is the closet signature. So... The closet signature, I definitely want to use this tea dyed doily. I think that's going to look really fancy. I think I'm going to use the envelope with the gold edging. Look at this cute purse. <laughs> that's on vellum. But I don't know if that's too dark though. It's got a lot of blacks in that. So I might find a smaller image of a purse to print up. We have a longer dress here, which is a long feminine dress. Um, I could fold this in half. It's got rows on the other side. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'll fold this one in half. And this is eight and a half by 11 paper. You do not have to match all of your papers to the same size as your outer signature part. You can do eight and a half by 11 folded in half. You can do any size you want. But here's my suggestion. On some of the papers, you do wanna go a little longer outside of this, a little tiny bit, so that when you lace the edge, you can see all the really pretty lacing, okay? I think I'm gonna start this one as my first. So I've got this and I've got my tea, my tea doily here. I'm going to fold this in half. I think I'm going to put the tea doily right here. Start that way. And then this opens up to a pretty dress. And let's see. I might want to do a couple of flip outs as well. Um, look at this pretty dress too. Ooh, we have some of this, but I think this would be good for the uh, for the third signature where I do letters and writing. So I'm going to keep that for that. Um, that's another piece of linen. Maybe that. Let's hold that aside. I have ooh, I have this piece of wallpaper. 
It can be like wallpaper for inside of your dressing room. We'll see. I'll think about it. Let's just put it here in the center. Um, here's a picture of some perfume. And then this has a really nice edging on the inside. That's a possibility. I do like this doily, this um, embossed paper here, but I already have that in this one, I think, so I might not want to recreate that. Oh, here's something. Oh, never mind. I'll take this back. I already have this in the first one. I have some tissue that I printed up some real pretty images on, so I think I'll do this one. Did that print crooked? It's kind of going this way. Eh. It's fine. If it bothers me enough, I'll reprint it later. And I'll just stuff it back in there. <laughs> Alright, so we've got one, two, three. I'm going to take the signature and put it aside really quick so it's not in the way. Then I have this tracing paper that I printed on. It has a nice little crunchy feel to it. So I think I'm going to fold that over. I'm not going to put that with the mulberry paper though. I'm going to separate that between some regular paper. All right. Let's see what else I can do. Let me bring some over to the center so you guys can see what I'm looking at. There's this, all, all kinds of old fashioned London, all kinds of different stuff. That's a possibility. Um, ooh, I have a different, oh, this is a regular embossed paper. Okay, let's do that. All right, so we have white embossed paper. Now I'm gonna put something in between here, whether it be on the top or the bottom. Let me see, I kinda of want something short. How does that look? Oh, it's over white, what am I doing? Um, how would that look, fold it in half? Nope, it won't work, that's embossed. Let me see, I got book paper. I don't know what that print is on the front of it though. That's like kind of orange. No, that won't work. All right. I don't want those two together, so I gotta separate it. What can I put on the other side? Oh, wait a minute, the envelope. I'm gonna have to trim the envelope, I think though. Actually, you know what I should do? I should use the envelope as a flip open right here. Yes. So I'm going to have to trim this envelope about this much right there. And I'll have to glue it. All right, so I'm trimming this envelope right here just so it can fit in the book. And I'm gonna end up gluing it. Okay. So I'm using this as a flip out. So I'm just basically throwing some glue back down where I cut it. Okay, and then I'm going to have this sit right on the outer edge of this so that this kind of flips like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue down right there. Isn't that pretty though? I embossed that.
Oopsie. All right, there we go. So now we've got one, two. Isn't that cool? So it's like one, two. You got your open envelope with the gold on the inside. You can stuff some old little vintage papers in there and that's cool. All right, so now let's find another paper. Um, I've got a short tissue paper. What about the fabric? Let's do the fabric in this one because this is where, this is the clothes section. So if I'm gonna put fabric down, I'm gonna have to put it over, let me think for a minute, it's gonna have to be over something strong. So I'm gonna have to add one more piece of cardstock in the center. So, this is cardstock right here. Maybe I can use this. Now remember, when you're picking out your signatures, right, you can always go back and change things out before you end, before, before you end up buying the book. I probably will switch out one or two of these before I end up buying it if I'm not happy with it. But this is just kind of an estimated look for it. I'm liking how it's going, but sometimes I'll go through it one or two or three more times just to make sure that... Um, that this is the way that I want to, to make it. I'm actually not liking how this looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cardstock instead. It's got the pretty pink in the center. And instead of this big bulky fabric that I just had right here, this is a little bit too much. It's got like four, it's like really heavy. I don't think I'm gonna add that in here. I think I'm gonna add this really pretty piece of lace here. This is from the front of my book. So this actually will fit perfect in here. So I'm going to, should I do it this way or this way? Hold on, should I do it this way? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it that way. And this is gonna lay over this piece of cardstock right here. And I like that pretty paper in the center. This is actually not even, that's why it looks funny. Um, let me see, I can go ahead and even that out. I don't really like how it sits on top there. It's kind of like a real flimsy kind of fabric. For now, I guess it'll be okay. I'll try the other one and just see how it looks. I'm just not sure if it's gonna be too heavy or not. No, I kind of like it. It's just a little heavy to turn though. It's kind of like bulky. I really don't know how I like that as a page. I think if I was to maybe put something in between it and stitch it, it might work a little better. Like even something like, um. It would have to be a taller paper. Let me think on that. This would look cool too. What if I did like a, a little cloth doily? That could be an idea too. I'm gonna use this in here for now. I'm not sold on it yet. Um, I'll go through it a couple more times and try different things. Let me see. 
Now this is the last piece of this fabric here. This is actually what the front of my book is made out of, and I definitely don't want to use this. Like this is my, I mean, yeah, that would look gorgeous, <laughs> but I'm hoarding this. I, I do not, I got this from Esme a while back ago, and I have not seen her post that up for sale at all. I have little snippets of it. Maybe I can add like little snippets in the book. Um, but this big piece, I'm hoarding it. Um, oh yeah, this piece of, oh, this is beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. I think I'm gonna use this tissue paper in here as well. And I think we're at our six or seven. Let me look. Okay, we've got one. I don't count that, so one, two, three, four. Okay, we can add another. Put tissue in the center. Maybe we can do this. Um, where's that little snippet? Ooh, that will go. Th that'll go good there. I might want to just stitch it a little bit though, just to just put it like a really thin stitch along the top, um, just to keep it from falling out. Uh, I don't like this. It's creating too much bulk. See, I told you. It could change any time with me. <laughs> if I don't like something, I'm going to take it out. Now, also, I want to try something. Alright, let me just try something really quick. I want Actually can't see it. I was going to add my first piece of lace trim. Hold on. Oh guys, remember this trim that I got from Timu? Wouldn't that look cute like right there on the edge? And this is the um the clothes signature. It almost I almost feel like it should go there, but of course I have a cover on it already. But um It's a little bit too bulky with these though, so that's not gonna work. It would really work better for like an outside of a book, cause it's got the beads, so like the pages don't close well on top of it. But that's a gorgeous um, trim. What about, let me see, I just wanna add one trim. Um, I'm picking all whites here. Pink? <laughs> um, he has an ivory. Let's do. Nope. What this ivory here? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and add some trim on the edge of this page. And usually I do this um, after I'm done binding the signatures in, but I just wanna just show you what it's gonna look like. Adding a little trim to the edge of the pages and how pretty it's gonna look and how it's gonna stick out of, this, of the book, you know, so why it's important to have some pages that, if they're indented a little bit, where you can make up for it by adding lace on the edge. So, um, look at how pretty that is. I love it. And then sometimes what I'll do 
I'll clean that up in a minute. Ah! I'm stuck to the doily. Um, what I'll do sometimes is I'll go along the other side of this. Yeah. And I'll do double lace. So I'll do another layer right on top so that it's nice and thick. So I'm going to go ahead and match it up. And I'm going to line the other side. And it also gives a little bit of weight to it as well. Especially if you're using vellum or um, mulberry paper. So you're adding a little bit of weight to your signature. Clean that up in a second. Look at that. And then you want to make sure it's nice and even. I noticed that this seems to be sticking out a little more. So let me just pull that out just a tad. So now I'm going to go ahead and trim. That. Clean it up a little bit. All right. So now you have this really pretty lace. rounded it myself. <laughs> All right. I did a too better job of that than did not. There we go. All right. So now we have a really nice trim. And of course, you know that once I get my stuff in here, it's going to have a lot more trim. Um, and make sure that's dry before it sticks to this um, tissue paper. Definitely don't want that sticking because then it won't come off. All right, so we've got that, and we have the flip out. Then we have this part. Then we have this. Then we have this little piece of fabric here. We have tissue paper. I definitely don't want to use that as my center, because this is where you're going to be screwing. I'm not screwing. This is where you're going to be binding in the signature, so you definitely want to use a thicker piece of paper for your center. It doesn't have to be cardstock. But definitely don't use tissue or vellum for it. Okay, you definitely want to use something. So I have to add one more piece of paper in here for my center. Um, let me see, what should I use? That's a pretty color. That kind of rounds it out. But it's white on the inside. So what I might do... I might. I can either print on the other side of it later, or I can line it with, well, I don't want to line it with lace because I don't want to poke holes through lace on the center. Um, let me see. Let me see if there's anything else that I can add instead for now. Let me just see if I can, well, I could. Well, no, because it's vellum. I wonder if I can do this. What if I turn it around, use that as the center, and then line this. Just 
thought of an idea. Hold on. Here we go. I have an idea. I have an idea. You know what I'm doing. If you guys know me, you know what I'm doing. I'm lining the outside of this paper. Hold on. Where are we at for time? 56 minutes, all right. We're doing good, we're almost done. All right, so I'm lining this paper here, but should I stitch it? I'm gonna make two pockets, okay? But I'm wondering if I should stitch it. I'm gonna stitch it later on. I don't wanna glue it just to show you guys and say, oh look, and then I regret it later. What I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm gonna do a stitch here and a stitch there, and that's gonna create a pocket there. Then we have our inner page, and then when you turn it, we're gonna have another pocket back here. And then we're now on to the other side, okay? So this is our second signature. Give or take, I might add one more piece of paper in there, like I might add this folded or um, a little something small, um, maybe another piece of fabric or something. Um, all right, where is my cover for this? I know I put it aside. Did I put it up here? Yep, it's right here. All right. Let's put all this stuff back before I get confused. I'll be using probably some of this for my third signature when I do that one. And of course tomorrow during the Friday Night Live, I will show you guys what all my signatures look like. All right. So now we have our dress signature. That's the second signature. So we've got this. And that's going to open up. And we've got this. And we have our tea doily. And we have our pretty paper with the lace. And we've got the girl, which I might reprint so that's straight. The girl on tissue paper. Then we have our flip open with the embossed paper. Got that. I might add one more thing in the center here. I might find a piece of fabric or, um, I don't know, I don't know if that would go good or if I put like a decoration on it or um, I'll find something. I haven't used too much lace at all, so maybe I'll find a nice piece of lace to put in between here. Um, I don't think I've got a wide piece right at my... Hold on, hold on. Maybe something like this. Yeah, there we go. Hold on, wait a minute. I got an idea. All right. Let's, get in. Let's just trim it right here for now. So I might curl it on the inside. All right, I just happen to have that on the top of my drawer. So I'm going to throw this lace right over here. I'm going to trim right there really quick so I can show you guys the end of the book. I'm really anxious to get this video out to you guys because I know you're waiting for it. And I'm excited about it because it's a good, I hope it's helpful for you guys who are making your signatures or waiting to make your signatures. And then there's this part too. I'm probably going to end up having to glue 
a little piece of that down because it's also on the other side. But it has like really nice edging there. So I'll probably end up just adding a little tad of glue there just to even it out. But there's that. And then we have our pretty little paper here. We have our tissue. We've got our center. And then we have the other side. And that is signature two. Not too bad for thickness. I think that's perfect. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. So there is signature two. And then here is signature one. And then I'm going to do the third offline tomorrow morning when I get back from my appointment so that I can be ready for Friday Night Live to do the third signature. And the third signature is probably going to be um, something to do with letters, um, like um, old-fashioned letters or maybe a, um, a desk or um, something vintage uh, to do with maybe a trunk or a photo of something that you store letters into. Um, so that's going to be the cover of my next one. This is going to be the center. I think I'm going to do one, two, and then three. I'll do two photo ones and a flower one in the center. And those are going to sit right on top like this. So we're going to have one, two, and then three. We'll go on the, on the bottom. See? There you go. See how that's looking so far? Two signatures. All right. So that is this video. I really hope that this helped you guys out. Start making your signatures. And then um, I'm going to make the third one offline tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow for Friday Night with Friends, I'm going to show you guys how all the signatures came out. I'm going to go through them all and show them to you. And then we're going to poke holes in the spine. And we're going to go ahead and add the signatures to the book. That's fun. Well, <laughs> depends on who you're asking or if you're doing five signature or if you're doing a five pamphlet stitch or I will be doing a five pamphlet stitch times three. So we're going to have five holes going down times three. I love five pamphlet stitches. I think they hold the book really well. Um, I love stitching them. And so I will show you guys all of that in the next video. All right, guys. Well, this is the end of part three. I really hope that this has helped you out. And I cannot wait to see your signatures. Definitely show me online on the Facebook group. Make sure to join that Facebook group if you haven't yet. I would love to have you over there. And I will see you guys tomorrow night for Friday with Friends. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Love you all. Bye. Bye.